Hey yo, Chixo here. Today we are going to do the Tower of Trials floor 7, 8 and floor 9, which got added today with the update. And yeah, hopefully we can find some easy teams and everyone is going to be able to beat this because yeah. So this reward, I would say it's okay. This reward is actually pretty great. 5 SSR pendants. Oh, we are even getting... Oh, this is beautiful. Um, And those coins with the chicken cards so we are definitely gonna open those chicken cards afterwards and hopefully we can get this freaking the only ur card we have in the game twitch chat is gone so um earlier i was really really tired and um there was another reason why i ended the stream and i took a nap afterwards so this is going to be the team we are going to use so sadiel i think sadiel is gonna hit like like a truck they are really really squishy i would say so it's really really easy to beat them um green Escanor is a recommendation of levi i do not 100 percent know why green Escanor, but the boss is blue so it does make sense to take green Escanor, i guess despia is obviously just to have a higher chance of critting so um also if we crit we deal more damage so it's going to be super helpful so what we're going to do is we are going to um oh here let let, let 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 me see if this actually works if we can double rank up because so uh we can attack seal the side units for sure but i do not know if they are going to be a taxi for two turns or not but if they are going to be um a taxi for two turns awesome but to be honest maybe even um getting a golden aoe might have been better because golden aoe might have just destroyed but here okay very nice um they can't attack that is really really great um let's see how much damage we can deal so actually we can get this ult so we can do this we can do this and we can can we get the ult no we can't get the ult damn so let's just uh use the aoe then um this and this should finish off something okay maybe we trigger the no yeah okay so one unit dies so they will revive with 20 percent hp and now they are going to die um but they are really really squishy and with a, a tech seal it's it's like a cheat code i would say like we barely take any damage besides of the um Gorgius, of course nice he's the only one who's going to attack so we can just um use this this we have the ult and is the power strike going to do enough damage i really don't know um we have type disadvantage so maybe not but they are kind of squishy so okay nice we proc the unique passive and now we can just use the ult of Escanor, and then we're good to go so yeah um i would say this one very very easy super super squishy if you do get lucky like me just um having the attack seal right adds i think even if you just attack seal the first turn and going to use aoe or something like that in the second turn you might be able to kill i'm not 100 sure but yeah um this or uh, that's it worth i think this is stage seven let's move on to the next one coming to floor eight uh levi recommended me this team so if we're going to fail we exactly know who we are going to blame right guys i mean um always blame levi guys okay um he yeah, actually i should use this as a link um i think he doesn't have the middle pieces on or i think okay this is fine uh, i don't think we need to decrease that much hp um t1 is on the gear which was on our green Escanor and goddess list i don't really know why goddess list but hey maybe all four units are um on the field i really don't know so this is right now the first time i'm going to enter this hopefully levi was right so actually these days i think the cc of um the hidden stages they are only at 300k um maybe wait did we out cc or oh, the, the day decreased to 200 uh 250k so um he said using t1 skills and ult okay no we are we are we we are not first 
Okay, this is really annoying. The attack down is really, really annoying. But uh, it's still okay, I guess. So, um, I guess we're working on T1. They deal like no damage at all. What the fuck? Um, I would say we... We are going to do it like this. And T1 is going to basically... Um, when he has his immunity up, that's awesome. Okay, they are going to heal. That is super annoying so i guess we should just move three times with t1 here instead there's no reason to attack unless it's only one of the units who's going to um who's going to heal up so let me let me see uh i didn't read the skills yet but yeah they they do like no damage i think even if we auto that would be okay-ish but yeah let's see so um okay it's all hidden it's all hidden passive, I guess. Okay, I, I, yeah, it's whatever. So we are going to move. We got super lucky. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to dissolve. I think I highly doubt they are going to deal enough damage. And now we have the T1 ult. Um, if you don't have T1, I guess maybe using a different unit who also hits hard. But yeah, damn. They, they honestly deal like no damage at all. But yeah, so T1 has the immunity now. That is really awesome. Mm, yeah, I think T1 might be one of the best adds. You have to use Loli Merlin or a unit which can infect. And with infect, we are good to go. So she's, uh, Rune is probably going to ult here. Which means we don't get uh, stunned. But yeah. So um, I would say we do this. We can merge here. And let's try out the AoE. But yeah, hopefully we crit and one shot. Okay, great. And now... I think we procced the ruin. Uh, passive of... Like, probably ruin as well, or in general these days. They all have second life, so yeah. Uh, now we're just going to work on T1 ult again and good to go. So I would say we're going to ult just to lifesteal a bit. Tamir gonna deal still a decent amount of damage because his damage is based on his defense and not his attack. Never mind. Yeah, um, probably he still scales a bit on his attack, but yeah. So what we're going to do now is basically just getting the T1 ult again. Um, damn, they deal a lot of damage or much, much more damage suddenly. I do not know why, but yeah. Oh, damn. I should probably actually use this one. And do this so maybe our Tami is going to die our list is going to um to enter the field which we could have dissolved but actually yeah this is good this is good our list is going to enter the field and we can um blame levi so now the second attempt we are going to try out our own team um it's still pretty similar i would say so we have the list here and hopefully the list is going to be like the key because yeah if you guys or oh, you should know that with green list we can just cycle ults we can help in rushing ults and also we have some sustain which is going to be pretty nice i guess um so yeah let's see um mm -mm. so in the first round we're just going to probably keep the heal we are going to dump the single target and um have the ult and also moving with t1 won't be bad so yeah if we are getting lucky we might be able to also just get a cleanse that would be awesome maybe having a gother here is good too but yeah it doesn't matter too much so we are going to i would say move this no move this to the left in case of a merger we're going to dump this one and we can also move this one once I was thinking of just um, using the stance as well, but I guess we are still good to go. Um, since they don't deal or they didn't deal that much damage yet, we got the lucky card of T1. We can just um, merge and just rush the ult. So is anyone getting the ult already? It's It looked like, okay, very, very close. So yeah, we can just, um, oh, she got the ult, but it's fine. Uh, Ruin having the ult is totally fine. We can, I would say, we use the stance and we can just burn this card, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. And um, 
next round we can ult we can ult with list to heal up everyone and also our t1 is oh damn oh because we had the stance and it also counts as stances so it uses that to what yeah it, it doesn't matter too much they they still don't deal that much damage i think maybe they deal more damage when they are missing units or something like that but yeah so what we're going to do now is okay he has ult so we're going to ult here we are going to ult here we are going to dump this card okay yeah and then next round we oh wow wow that damage uh did we do that much earlier as well i didn't pay attention but yeah so we got rid of this we can get the t1 ult again and then i think we're good to go so seems to be pretty easy and i do not know why they don't deal more damage maybe attacking or killing the left one is the general better strat who knows but yeah so what we're going to do now is we can we could be also dissolving but i highly doubt we would really need that because he's just going to attack onto our um onto our list and our list is not really the unit we okay never mind didn't do enough damage anyway so it doesn't matter too much and yeah so i hope they don't have the debuff yet i didn't pay attention okay this is dead dead oh but yeah i think they don't have the debuff yet and if we are going to ult we're good to go right hopefully we are going to crit and one shot <clears throat> and yeah that should settle the deal for flower uh, for floor eight okay here we did much less damage and gg is pretty pretty easy i would say so for failing once we blame levi <laughs> but hey i i i think this team is m maybe actually probably the best team besides of maybe uh tamil didn't do anything in this team um if your team can't take ults maybe the dissolve is helpful but yeah the best thing is actually just uh trying to get all the um ult gauges onto your t1 like for example uh also maybe a cleanser so basically if you're going to um have gotha to rank up to cleanse but uh, because of the immunity of t1 if you can cycle that not needed at all but yeah if you don't have t1 though you might have to do that we are coming to the last stage now so um i would say this stage is pretty easy as long you guys know what to do so this is our valenti um some random gear i had because of using her um for the final boss stuff it doesn't really matter here on gotha it doesn't really matter what gear we have as well um king we have on a attack crit damage build so it's not you are he's still level 80 sa4 i think that's pretty accessible um so yeah basically the hidden passive of this stage is you won't deal any damage unless you attack with the same unit three times so the third time is gonna uh, deal damage so what we're going to do is we're going to rush the ult of our um king and then we're good to go so gotha is here just to increase the stats um valenti is here just to mitigate the damage a little bit so i'm not yeah that should be actually the best play because yeah i um obviously wanted to have lowest hp onto our valenti so that our valenti gets targeted but our king t does take damage so i'm not too sure if they are going to start attacking into king now but yeah so we're going to do this this and this and then we're going to move two times again we're going to um merge okay nice very nice they are still going to attack onto valenti which is really really good for us because yeah obviously we don't want king to die if valenti dies it doesn't really matter especially um then despius would be coming out and if despius comes out um the passive of gotha still works so now what we're going to do is we're dumping the uh two attack cards of king and king should be wiping everyone so yeah um very very nice it's a very free to play friendly team um i would say around this time a lot of people should have a decent ult level onto king and if you don't have this also a sardial works so um a sardial you're just going to rank up onto sardial to get a golden sardial card sardial aoe you're going to attack twice with uh sardial and then you use the aoe that should one shot so now we're going to do this and this also big shout out to okach so i was talking to him i asked him hey do you know any free to play friendly 
uh, teams and he told me about this. He said, hey, just use Green King and easy one shot. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And uh, that is how you can beat all the stages of... Um, all the stages of what it's called of Tower of Trides and now we're going to open those packs 10 tickets I thought they were the same I didn't really pay attention but yeah hopefully we can get some nice or some new cards so this one is a dupe very unfortunate but the only interesting or the really really interesting pack is going to be the red pack oh a new card awesome that is great um we got that from Ruin and oh what why do well whatever um oh nice two new cards that's really awesome um let me know in the comment section how many cards you guys got so far in total um or not cards uh, artifacts so different artifacts um we can check how many i have and let me know if you have more or if you actually have less who knows um oh my god this is so bad right now come on chicken 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 do you guys have the chicken already Okay, at least a new card. Um, very, very unfortunate. Damn. So yeah, um, we so far have 88 out of 168. Let me know in the comment section how many you guys have. Um, if you don't want to miss out uh, such content or if you want to see more of such content, let me know in the comment section. I really hope it was helpful or you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for tuning in and peace out for now.